New Scientist, New Scientist, first published on November 22, 1956, is a weekly, English-language magazine that covers all aspects of science and technology. New Scientist, based in London, publishes editions in the UK, the United States, and Australia. Since 1996 it has been available online. Sold in retail outlets and on subscription, the magazine covers news, features, reviews and commentary on science, technology and their implications. New Scientist also publishes speculative articles, ranging from the technical to the philosophical. The magazine was founded in 1956 by Tom Margarison, Max Raison and Nicholas Harrison as the New Scientist, with issue 1 on 22nd of November, priced 1 shilling. The British monthly science magazine Science Journal, published 1965-71, to was merged with New Scientist to form New Scientist and Science Journal. Originally, the cover of New Scientist listed articles in plain text. Initially, page numbering followed academic practice with sequential numbering for each quarterly volume. So, for example, the first page of an issue in March could be 649 instead of 1. Later issues numbered issues separately. From the beginning of 1961, that was dropped from the title. From 1965, the front cover was illustrated. Until the 1970s, color was not used except for on the cover. Since its first issue, New Scientist has written about the applications of science through its coverage of technology. For example, the first issue included an article where next from Calder Hall? On the future of nuclear power in the UK a topic that it has covered throughout its history. In 1964 there was a regular science in British industry section with several items. An article on the magazine's 10th anniversary issues provides anecdotes on the founding of the magazine. In 1970, the Reed Group, which went on to become Reed Elsevier, acquired New Scientist when it merged with IPC Magazines. Reed retained the magazine when it sold most of its consumer titles in a management buyout to what is now T-Media. Throughout most of its history, New Scientist has published cartoons as light relief and comment on the news, with contributions from regulars such as Mike Payton and David Austin. The Grimbledon Down comic strip, by cartoonist Bill Tidy, appeared from 1970 to 1994. The Ariadne pages in New Scientist commented on the lighter side of science and technology and included contributions from Daedalus. The fictitious inventor devised plausible but impractical and humorous inventions, often developed by the Dreadco Corporation. Daedalus later moved to nature. Issues of New Scientist from issue 1 to the end of 1989 have been made free to read online. Subsequent issues require a subscription. In the first half of 2013, the international circulation of New Scientist averaged 125,172. While this was a 4.3% reduction on the previous year's figure, it was a much smaller reduction in circulation than many mainstream magazines of similar or greater circulation. For the 2014 UK circulation fell by 3.2% but stronger international sales, increased the circulation to 129,585. See also hashtag website below. In April 2017, New Scientist changed hands when Rielks Group formerly known as Reed Elsevier, sold the magazine to Kingston Acquisitions, a group set up by Sir Bernard Gray, Louise Rogers and Matthew O'Sullivan to acquire New Scientist. Kingston Acquisitions then renamed itself New Scientist Ltd. New Scientist currently contains the following sections, Leader, News, Technology, Opinion, Features, Culture Lab, Feedback, The Last Word in Jobs and Careers. A Tom Gold cartoon appears on the letters page. A reader's letters section discusses recent articles and discussions also take place on the website. Readers contribute observations on examples of pseudoscience to feedback, and offer questions and answers on scientific and technical topics to Last Word. New Scientist has produced a series of books compiled from contributions to Last Word. There are 51 issues a year, with a Christmas and New Year double issue. The double issue in 2014 was the 3000th edition of the magazine. The editor-in-chief is Emily Wilson, executive editor is Graham Lawton, managing editor is Rowan Hooper and editor-at-large is Jeremy Webb. Consultants include Fred Pierce, Marcus Chown, and Linda Geddes. Simon Ings and former editor Alan Anderson are contributors. The New Scientist website carries blogs, reports and news articles. Users with free-of-charge registration have limited access to new content and can receive emailed New Scientist newsletters.
Subscribers to the print edition have full access to all articles in the archive of past content that has so far been digitized. Online readership takes various forms. Overall global views of an online database of over 100,000 articles are 8.0 meters by 3.6 meters unique users according to Adobe Reports and Analytics. On social media there are 1.47 meters plus Twitter followers, 2.3 meters plus Facebook likes and 365,000 plus Google plus followers. New Scientist has published books derived from its content, many of which are selected questions and answers from the last word section of the magazine and website. Other books published by New Scientist include New Scientist has also worked with other publishers to produce books based on the magazine's content. In 2012 ARC, a new digital quarterly from the makers of New Scientist, exploring the future through the world of science fiction and fact was launched. In the same year the magazine launched a dating service, New Scientist Connect, operated by the Dating Lab. A Dutch edition of New Scientist was launched in June 2015, replacing the former Nature Wadens Chap and Technique magazine. The monthly magazine, published by Veen Media, is sold in the Netherlands and Belgium. Since 2016 New Scientist has held an annual science festival in London. Styled New Scientist Live, the event has attracted high-profile scientists and science representers. In September 2006, New Scientist was criticized by science fiction writer Greg Egan, who wrote that a sensationalist bent on a lack of basic knowledge be its writers was making the magazine's coverage sufficiently unreliable to constitute a real threat to the public understanding of science. In particular, Egan found himself gobsmacked by the level of scientific illiteracy in the magazine's coverage of Roger Shire's electromagnetic drive, where new scientists allowed the publication of meaningless double dog designed to bypass a fatal objection to Shire's proposed space drive, namely that it violates the law of conservation of momentum. Egan urged others to write to new scientists and pressure the magazine to raise its standards, instead of squandering the opportunity that the magazine's circulation and prestige provides. The editor of New Scientist, then Jeremy Webb, replied defending the article, saying that it is an ideas magazine, that means writing about hypotheses as well as theories. In January 2009, New Scientist ran a cover with the title Darwin Was Wrong. The actual story stated that specific details of Darwin's evolution theory had been shown incorrectly, mainly the shape of phylogenetic trees of interrelated species which should be represented as a web instead of a tree. Some evolutionary biologists who actively oppose the intelligent design movement thought the cover was both sensationalist and damaging to the scientific community. Jerry Coyne, author of the book Why Evolution is True, called for a boycott of the magazine, which was supported by evolutionary biologists Richard Dawkins and P.Z. Myers. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.